Hello YouTube. This is a quick video about the uh, VI editor. So after watching this video, you must be able to uh, work comfortably with the VI or the VIM editor for all your programming needs. Uh, as a beginner, you don't have to be much concerned about the differences between the VI and the VIM editor. The VIM editor is the recent one. The name VIM is an abbreviation for VI improved. Uh, it has a few new features on top of what the old VI editor offers. The VI editor is included in all the Linux distributions. On the other hand, the VIM editor might not be included. So if you want to enjoy the additional features in VIM which are not present in the VI editor, you can install the Vim editor. For Linux systems, you can install the Vim editor from the aptitude package manager by just typing sudo apt get install vim. Uh, I'll, I'll leave this line in the video description. In a Mac, you can get it from Mac ports. So the installation in both the cases is pretty straightforward. Uh, leave a comment if you have any queries with uh, regards to the uh, installing the vim editor. So I'm using the Mac OS 10 for the demonstration. The operations are going to be the same in a Linux operating system as well. Uh, so let's start by opening the terminal. Yeah. Yeah. So to begin with, let's uh, navigate to the directory where uh, we want to create our file. So I already have a folder created. So in this folder VI tutorial I already have some two Python scripts. Uh, uh, I, I'll explain I'll explain a few points by the help of uh, these Python scripts. Uh, you don't have to worry if you do not know Python because uh, I'm using these scripts only for uh, demonstration because uh, in Python the indentation is prominent and so I'll be able to explain all the features of Vim. Uh, with the help of a Python script. So, so let's begin with the first command that is to create or to open a file. You just need to type vim followed by uh, the file name. Let's say, uh, let's create a file called uh, uh, myfile.py. So, once you hit enter, uh, this file myfile.py gets created. Let's do it. Yeah. So, the new file is created and the new file myfile.py is open. So you can see the name of the file at the bottom. So on the other hand, uh, you can also open an already existing file by the same command that we used. So vim followed by let's say an already existing file uh, .py. Uh, you just type the name and it opens the file which already exists. So right now the uh, editor is in the command mode so the vi editor has an insert mode uh, in which you can insert your text and it has the uh, command mode uh, right now it's in the command mode uh, so in order to insert text you need to change to the insert mode so this can be done by hitting the letter i i for insert so now you can see uh, the, the hyphen hyphen insert hyphen hyphen text at the bottom of the editor so uh, this means that uh, the VI editor is in the insert mode and uh, you're ready to uh, key in your text so let's type something here uh, hello world so so we have typed this and in order to return to the command mode you you can hit the escape key so once you hit the escape key uh, the insert which was over here at the bottom at the left side bottom uh, just vanished and you can come to know that uh, the VI editor is in the command mode now. So the command mode is where you're going to type all your commands. So let's do something now. Uh, let's try to s save the file that we created. Uh, I mean uh, we just entered the text hello world. Let's save it. So in order to do that uh, you need to type colon followed by W. 
So W stands for write and you hit enter. So you see here uh, 12C blah 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 written. Uh, so it means that uh, the text has been successfully written to the file myfile.py. Uh, you can also uh, type other commands as in in order to write and quit the file you type w followed by q and then hit enter i've not in i've not hit entered uh, once you do it the vi editor would close and the text hello world would be saved to the file yeah so now if you open the file again uh, it would have the text hello world so now we just saw two uh, important commands uh, colon w for just writing and colon wq for writing as well as to quit the file to quit the editor so let's try uh, something else uh, let me create another file called uh, my file 2.py uh, now i i just want to type something and i just want to quit the editor without saving without writing the text to this file so you can do that by typing colon from the command mode uh, so what I just did was uh, okay right now the uh, editor is in the insert mode you can switch to the command mode first by entering the by hitting the escape key yeah uh, the insert vanished so right now it's in the command mode so you type colon uh, followed by Q and an exclamatory mark colon Q exclamatory mark and once you hit enter this quits the editor and the text is not saved so if we open this file now I'm sorry it's the other one it's my file 2.py so if you open this file you don't type the text uh, what we just entered So what we just saw was uh, WQ, Q and Q exclamatory mark. And now let's begin uh, looking at uh, how you can move your cursor to the uh, different lines in a file. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to make use of an, uh, an already uh, composed file. I'll make use of the, the Python script test spimage.py so I'll open the file for you okay so as you can see the editor has opened the file and it's in the command mode right now uh, so in order to uh, enter some text you need to uh, change the insert mode this can be done by typing the I and now it's in the insert mode and uh, let's say let's let's type a comment at the top of this code you just hit enter and uh, this hash uh, this is this is how a comment starts in python so this is a python file so we have just entered a, a line at the top so let's save it so escape colon and w enter it's saved now so let me teach you something like uh, so you're right now in the second line so if you want to move the cursor to the end of the line that is uh, you achieve this on a normal editor by hitting the end key and the home key uh, to come to the beginning so to go to the end of the line what you do is you just type the dollar key from the command mode so once you hit dollar the cursor comes to the end of the line you just saw this and in order to return to the beginning of the line beginning of the same line uh, you hit the the number zero once so by hitting zero once uh, the cursor comes to the beginning of the line so all this all these have to be done from the command mode so I hope you understood the difference between uh, what we saw previously that is uh, we entered uh, colon and once we enter colon here uh, whatever we type appears on the screen 
so for example w q it enters on the screen whereas if you type dollar uh, zero uh, there is no text at the bottom of the screen i hope you understand the difference between the two so that is what colon uh, does so when you press colon you can enter uh, a few commands thanks for watching guys the remainder of the tutorial is in the next few videos you can find the link in the video description hope you like the video uh, give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel take care